Okay, so today, it's what I hate, or the legacy of Spanish colonialism, or how South American bureaucracy drives me crazy. Let me tell you about it. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. People in South America love, or maybe better to say, addicted to administrative procedure and authority. A rule doesn't need to make sense. It just needs to be followed. People crave the feeling of power and success and often means a domain to lord over, such as the immigration office, bank, notaries, and building administrators. In Ecuador, this is all really typical. People in a position of authority expect you to be deferential. In other words, kiss their ass. They want you to use terms like doctor, despite them not being one. If you don't, expect problems. One great example is Corral Central. That's Ecuador's super Walmart. If you walk out the door, no matter the reason, there are no returns, no exceptions. Think the soup Nazi. The visa process is a nightmare. All my information was ready when I arrived to Ecuador. Every document, certification, apostille, translation was all 100% ready. Yet instead of the few weeks it should have taken, it took over six months and an additional $2,000. When it was finally completed, not a single item more than I had initially was actually needed. But they still delighted in sending me for six trips to Azogues, three trips to the Cuenca office, two times they sent me for new passport photos, and one time they sent me for more fingerprints. Thanks to the delays, my 90-day expired. Even though the visa was in process, by law there's no further visa needed, I had to leave for Ecuador for Peru to buy a new extended visa. And by this time, a new law went into effect, doubling the cost of everything. Then they required I send to the USA for a state police report, even though they already had a local, a state, and the FBI report. Each visit would subject me to a whole new set of power-crazed people. Nothing they demanded of me was required, and they were following no law. You know, 20 years ago in Colombia, it was similar. However, that's changed a lot, and it's so much easier. Things are automated today, but the mentality still exists elsewhere in Colombia. Here, it's the dreaded building administrators. During the move, they created rules such as moving by appointment only, Monday through Friday from 9 to 4. Now, those rules didn't exist anywhere in writing, after the movers' arrival, they suddenly decided they needed a COVID compliance document, which doesn't exist to move out of a building. They also decided at the last minute they needed permission from the owner. Now, they were ignoring the fact that a year earlier, he wrote a letter to them giving me total power of decision as related to anything in the building. Plus, they already had two weeks prior notice when the movers were coming. First, they denied entry for the owner permission. Of course, I got past that. Then they said I needed an appointment. Once I showed that from two weeks prior and the day before, they said, well, you can't move on a Saturday. And then, of course, the non-existent COVID document. After the movers sat idle for an hour and a half, they had to leave. I had never had a run-in with a god-king lady before, but this is fairly typical that when you're up against it, they'll swoop in with endless reasons that they are in charge. Some want the palm greased, but usually no. It's just to show the world that they have the power. They are important. They are the doctor. I wrote a scathing letter to her threatening to send the police. She never replied, but about a half an hour later, she called the movers and told them they could come that next week. They came the following Tuesday. 
in this building I moved into, they also had an appointment. Of course, the first one was missed, but the administrators tried to send the movers away anyway. Not typical of me at all these days, but I lost it. I began yelling at the guard in my terrible Spanish, and he just ran away. I mean, he actually just took off. I then directed the movers to continue. He wasn't there to stop me, so come on, guys, let's go. You know, they hesitated for a minute, but they'd waste enough time, and they just started moving my stuff. I'm sure the people thought I was crazy, but I just wasn't going to waste any more time for the movers or for myself. Maybe it was a long, slow burn from all the times I had to deal with petty tyrants and remain calm and patient, which is actually the correct way to deal with it. But on that day, with the frustrations added to the stress of the move, I was ready to kill something. Beware of people with a little bit of authority. They'll construct their own little kingdom full of arbitrary rules. They feel they are God on high, looking down at all the little people. I really hate that about South America.